working this out on my own, what I'll do is I'll get a rafter in place, I mark it, I go to the other end and see if there's any discrepancy. You hear the 10 mil, but I don't want it to show on the roof of the line with the leg. So I'll split the difference and just play with it five mil uh, rather than measure them all individual rafters. Now what I'm doing this on my own, I will put a timber in the end to hold up the plate. That way when I come along with my ladder, I get up, hold it, fix it in, pipe hole's already done. And then when I come a bit further through, I'll get a piece of timber on top of the timber to hook it on top of this, straight over. I've got the chalk line, I know where I'm going, just makes it easier and frees my hands up. Setting out of V-luxes, I always allow 10 mil each side, but Scott from SM2 has it's just give me a good bit of information that a lot of the Velux is coming out now have 50 mil Celotex all the way around. A lot of people get caught out, have to put it in, and then plaster goes into the glass. Find out first. Also, how did I work this out? I've got my span in my build, plasterboard line, finished plasterboard line, and I've got three Velux sizes. So I've deducted the three Velux sizes by the span. So there's three Veluxes, there's four spaces, and then I've divided it up. Something to think about is, how do your lines come through your plasterboard? Is there anything going on the ceiling? How is, it, how is that going to work when it hits? Is there an island for a kitchen? Is there units? Anything that can interfere to work it out. How does it work with your inner openings? Good things to think of. I've got these bolts to go in, but my plate's 45. So what I want to do is I want to measure to see, just to double check. So when I check that, it's about 90 mil. So it only leaves me 10 mil of brick. What I don't want to do is blow it. Blow that brick, it's not going to work. So what I do is, I'll just whiz off 10 mil off the back there. And when that goes into brickwork, I know I've got 85 mil in there, 80 mil, and it ain't going to blow the brick. But also, 20 mil goes into the brickwork. Drill that from my timber, I don't want no slack. I don't think it's going to, but I want it to be right. So I, because I've got to all my thread, I'll go through my plate, Mark the walls with a 12 mil and use that as a pilot hole. I take the plate down quickly, 10 minutes. Then I drill through my 20 mil, clean that hole out of dust, put my plate back up, put the bolts in, and then it's 12 mil through the timber for the plate, 20 mil into the brickwork. V-luxes. Once I've got my center or my point of my V-luxes, I like to cut the topping first. And then what I do is I mark it either side. And that'd be my lines to go to. And I can put two nails either side and I can hold my timber against it, either nail gun or hand nail, but I get the, the nail started and it just makes it a bit easier. And um, instead of getting to a point where you've got to just cut it too big, cut it too small, you've got a pattern. And if there's a load of them, what I do is I do one end and the other end and ping a line and double check just in case there's any discrepancies. But usually the pattern works fine. Right, so once I've got my marks at the top where they've got to go, I've make up my doubles, I've put all the hangers on. I like to put the hangers on first. Sometimes the rafters can be a little bit wide, so I get a ratchet and pull them in really tight. Sometimes they're a little bit tight, especially depending on size. It's a bit awkward on myself. So I always put a piece of timber on the top, sit it on to suit, and especially if it's tight, you can tap it in. But what I like about that is, you put, it, put the hangers on first. Sometimes with the hangers, you get a little leaf that go around the back and you can't wrap it, wrap them around, you've got to put them on first. But if I do do that, if there's any discrepancies, I can't get them where I want. So I can lift it up, fix it, pull it down, and that'll tie and wind everything in where I want it. Box end, how I do mine nice and simple. I'll cut a piece of fascia out of that shape. I'll hold it up to the socket. I'll level this. When I'm happy, I'll mark it. Double check it, level up, cut my barge nice and level with multi-tool. Then, once I've got my size here, I'll hold that in there. I'll level the soffit. I'll level the bit of fascia. I'll double check, put my hand up, scribe the back, cut that angle on. And then when I put that in two pins, I'll put my box end in I'll put plenty of screws in, I keep double checking, everything's level, take any twist out, screw it, it's absolutely spot on. And when you put the corner pieces on, if you're going to glue them, just glue one side and then if there's any movement they won't. With the corners, I like the square corners, 
because I'll cut from the back out and then you take the fray off and then what you could do is you've got a bit more movement to cover this barge but with this round you haven't you're, you're a bit governed by what you've got you can't cut it as clean as a cut so I make sure that my barge is cut really well I'll take an arras off the corners and then I'll just cut the back out and I'll slide that up you've really got to make sure that they're absolutely spot on with the barge board cuts nice we're in Colchester and we're doing a low level roof for SM2, one of my favourite builders to work for. These little jobs are perfect for the wheat fields. The only issue is they may be one or two day jobs, but when you've got a load of them, you've got to try and squeeze a week in in a month. Now the roofers are getting ready for this, they need this, so we're going to get it done. Next week's a busy week, Monday I'll be in Leon C, finishing off some dormers that Harry and Adam done. We've been waiting for a while for some nice finer details for the window fitter, so they're waiting. In the meantime, the main roof will be getting ready in Chelmsford, ready for the roofer. Tuesday we'll be dropping on to the smaller low level roof of a bastard hip and I'm going to do a nice little video on that. It's going to be very interesting. Then we're going to go to Purley to help Robbie out. We've got Stills turning up in Headingham for our next mansard roof. That's going to be one of our next big jobs. Oh, and one more little job to do in Braintree St. Facial Soffit. So lots to do. Try and please everybody. We do our best.